humans sleep. But what happens if you couldn't? As the clock ticks and the hours pass, how long could you last? Hours? Days? Weeks? Years? How long before you succumb to fatigue? Depression? Insanity? Let's explore a man who suffered from intolerable insomnia. A man forced to watch the clock tick and his life fade away. I'm Nick from Pixels After Dark, and let's explore the YouTube channel documenting this tragedy. The channel owned by Ricard Siajan. pineal glands and, and any others that possibly is the cause of this. I want to check, you know, I want, I want, I need the help of people out there, doctors or, or, or hospitals and everything, you know, or use me as your, as your, as your model, uh, as your guinea pig, you know, because I'm, I know I'm going to be falling soon. I know I'm dying soon. Talented artist, tattoo enthusiast, and loving father Ricard Siajan uploaded his first YouTube video on December 31st, 2013. The video is simply a man getting a tattoo. Nothing odd and nothing off. Well, that's because at this point, there was nothing wrong. Ricard Siajan was as happy and as healthy as he could be. Ricard started as a man with a YouTube channel, similar to myself and I'm sure many of you included. He would post various art videos, sketches, and loving moments with his son. These videos would continue throughout the years until one tragic day in 2015. Hi, um, I'm making this uh, video um, hoping that there's some people out there um, are able to help me either. Ricard made a post describing a disease he had been struggling with known as fatal familial insomnia. This remarkably rare degenerative brain disorder heavily limits the amount an individual is able to sleep, causing significant mental and physical deterioration. In 2015, Ricard moved to the city of Philadelphia seeking a better life for him and his son. He found a job that helped him pay the bills and lived well up until the time he got a UTI. With no insurance at the time, Ricard's boss decided to help him out by giving him a bottle of antibiotics that were known to cure the UTI. In pain and with no other choice, Ricard took the antibiotics in hopes of getting back to work soon. You know, since I don't have insurance, you know, not much I can do. And he's trying to offer a medicine, I mean, antibiotic that belonged to him that he never used it yet. However, this medicine almost immediately showed negative side effects. Ricard mentioned that he would experience terrible headaches and back pain. In um, tinnitus, heart palpitation, muscles, um, back pain. The back pain is so terrible, you know. So. He figured that this was merely a side effect of the antibiotic and endured the pain in hopes that it would end once the antibiotics were finished. However, what Ricard didn't realize, however, was just how worse things were about to become. Not to realize after a while that when I stop this medication, I'm not able to sleep any longer. Off the antibiotics, Ricard found that he had immense trouble sleeping. He could only sleep for like two hours at a time and always endured terrible nightmares. And I'm planning to go back to US to have medication and everything if my if my condition allowing me to go there now because I'm, my body is deteriorating from not sleeping. My immune system. Ricard described how his body was deteriorating and his immune system was failing from the lack of sleep. He keeps using the phrase that his brain can never calm down, and he feels as if there's a physical disconnection from his body to his brain. Throughout this entire video, he continues to plead for help, desperate from anybody who's willing to offer anything. Hearing Ricard talk about this in absolute agony while being bedridden is nothing less than horrific. I... look at his past posts. He was so full of life, inspiration, love. He was a man with a family looking to get better every single day. Happy and without care that one day, not soon after, things would end up here. I need the help of people out there, doctors or, or, or hospitals and everything. You know, or use me as your, as your, as your model, uh, as your guinea pig, you know, because I'm, I know I'm going to be falling soon. I know I'm dying soon. 
He ends the video stating that he understands he's dying, and if he can't be cured, he would at least like to be used as a subject for research, so no one else has to suffer like he has. I need life. I need life. I do need life. You know, I don't want to die. You know, I don't want to die. So please help me. Um, you know, even though I have to die, but that's I know that I will die if I don't do anything. You know, even though I do anything, if I die, well, then God want me that, that way. So please, um, uh, wherever you are, help me. The antibiotic that Ricard took was known as ciprofloxacin, which is a notoriously dangerous drug. Paralysis, severe body pain, memory loss, these are all real cases of ciprofloxacin users that suffered negative side effects. This drug is intended to be administered as a last resort, not a simple pill pop to cure a typical UTI. However, unfortunately, Ricard had no way of knowing this. Another possible side effect of this drug is known as peripheral neuropathy which is described as damage to the nerves from the brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body. This would explain that disconnection that Ricard keeps on talking about. After this video, Ricard returned to posting videos of his art. However, things are a little bit different this time. See, typically Ricard would post live drawings and detailed sketches. The videos now simply feature a flip through his art books. While there is no confirmation of this, part of me suspects that this isn't him showcasing his work, but instead making one final memorial for everything he created throughout the years. A final documentation of one of the things he loved the most. On June 2nd of 2016, Ricard made another post regarding his illness, this time requesting financial help. The first effect that I have after taking this medicine is uh, a clenching around my hands and my body and my feet. But and then... He was in contact with the doctor from a hospital in Beijing who believed he could cure Ricard's disease. He apparently performed successful treatment on a patient who had very similar symptoms to Ricard and believed that he could work the same with him as well. The issue, however, is the treatment would require two expensive procedures that would attempt to rewire the neurons in the body. Two procedures that would cost money that Ricard just didn't have. With any risk that I'm going to face um, with the study and stuff, because uh, without it, also I'm going to tear down and dying anyway, and until I lost all my power from not sleeping and from um, losing my immune system. It's so beyond tragic that in this case, money and opportunity mean everything. Ricard couldn't put himself in the position to get the help he needed because he didn't have money. That's, that's just sick. I'm lucky enough to have everything that I have. I don't know who's down the street suffering the same thing and just can't afford to get the treatment. One of the study and I'm ready to be um, a model of any study going on or, 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 or I can sign the, uh, the agreement with any risk that I'm going to face. Uh, Ricard was willing to risk everything he had for anything that even gave him a fractional chance of a recovery. I will give away my two legs, two of legs from my tire, cut it, take it as an exchange for sleeping even the three hours a day. He made a GoFundMe page, however it has since been closed, leaving how much he actually raised the mystery. I have no idea what he got, nor what his goal was, but the only thing that's for certain as he failed to reach it. After this, Ricard began to fall into madness and insanity. You could tell from his videos the lack of sleep was weighing on his mental state tremendously. He started to talk about these wild conspiracy theories, and even when he describes them, they make no sense. Just take a listen and see if you can make any sense about what he's talking about. Conspiracy theory has never been a theory. It's a practice. So the world that created by the system or the sentence then become conspiracy theory is itself it's a conspiracy to make people think that it is a theory not a practice as time passed Ricard would continue to post similar content 
twitching incidents, documentation of the disease, and more confusing conspiracies. About HIV. HIV is uh, a virus. It's made, made by human, made by uh, drugs, mafia. I need life. I do need life. You know, I don't want to die. You know, I don't want to die. Tear down and dying anyway, and until I lost all my power from not sleeping and from um, losing my immune system. If there's someone coming and put a poison in my mouth so I can end this because God don't want to pick me up. My head also is sleepy and looping and so I feel like there's like a muscle um, tension and con like con contraction along my spine, along my head. I wish I never wake up. Ever. Yes. Okay. So what are you gonna make, uh, Palu? I'm gonna make juice. My last dream uh, is my son. I uh, feel so embarrassed. I cannot raise him. Um, he's with his mom now. I love him. Thanks God. But um, you know, he know I love him. I know he love me. Ricard passed away by the end of 2016.